they know that I need. Hey guys, before we get into the video with about our workout, this week is a bit different. We are not going to be open for Thanksgiving this uh, year, and we're going to not have our early morning, the 5.30 a.m. and the 6.45 a.m. classes on Friday either. But we will do kind of our traditional uh, style workout for Thanksgiving the day before on Wednesday. So if you've been here for that one, it'll be fun. And maybe we'll have some fun twist in there for how that one works. All right, now let's talk about today's workout. Hey everybody, happy Monday and welcome to uh, our first workout after uh, retest week. Um, it's called Chasing Waterfalls. Fun fact about Chasing Waterfalls, my wife Erica, who's right over there, when she was a kid, thought that the song was saying Jason Waterfalls, and then she kind of twisted that to claim that it meant she knew she was meant to, we were gonna get married or something. Soulmates, that, thanks, she said soulmates. Anyway, so, now that you know that little tidbit, Jason Waterfalls, or Jason Waterfalls, whichever you'd prefer to hear it as, is a four round workout for time, consisting of a 30 calorie row for the guys, 24 for our ladies, 30 wall balls, and then 30 ab mat sit-ups. Cool? All right, so let's come back, talk about what our at home or anywhere folks are gonna do because it's gonna be a little different, and then we'll talk strategy. Okay, anywhere folks, your home version is gonna be pretty different. You're going to be doing jumping lunges and sit-ups. The rep scheme for you is going to be 50 of each, then 40 of each, 30, 20, 10 of each. So, it's a little bit different. You probably don't have the rower. You don't have a, a, a spot to throw wall balls, or wall balls, wall balls, or probably even throw one to a 10-foot target. So. That's what you're doing, jumping lunges. You can always do the little stagger step or just regular reverse lunges if the jumping is a little too much for you. All right, so now let's talk about how to attack these. No need to All right, so uh, today's workout, um, it's gonna be a good chance for you to maybe after this cycle and maybe settling into a groove and you've just done a retest, to, to maybe see about another test. Um, look at the row and the wall balls today. Maybe you always do the same rep scheme or very similar cadence or uh, very similar efforts on the rower. Maybe we pick one of those movements today to kind of press out of your comfort zone and see if instead of 10 wall ball sets, maybe you can do 12 or maybe you can do 15 and see if you can make that last through all four of those rounds. Or on the rower, maybe you try to get that average calorie per hour number up a bit higher. You always see 1,000, 900, 1,100, something like that. Maybe you see if you can hold on to seeing 1,200s on the monitor or something like that. So pick something, see if you can push yourself a little bit today to try to get maybe a new baseline for yourself for, both, for one of those movements. So, like I said, push through one of them, see if you can go a little bigger or a little harder on one, and on the other one, chip away, get it done, and then the sit-ups are that chance to recover a bit before you go back into the next round. All right, so have fun, hop into a class, and uh, if you can't get into a class and you do it at home, put your stuff in sugar wad, get a fist bump, uh, so we're all still seeing each other, get those workouts in, and... We'll see you again tomorrow for another workout.